At this time, I would like to welcome the President of the Canadian Thumbel Congress, Mr. Sivan Ilango. Sivan Ilango is an associate partner at Ernst & Young LLP. Recently, Ilango has been named a CPA Ontario Fellow, the highest distinction bestowed upon a chartered professional accountant in the accounting profession. Mr. Ilango has also successfully led the global campaign to establish the first ever Tamil chair in Canada at the University of Toronto. Please welcome Mr. Sivan Ilango. Nandre Vidusaini Ahara Mudala Ertalam Adi Bakaban Mudatke Ulafi Indra Nadebarakindra Thai Pongal Tamil Maravatingal Vulavil Renandula Ungal Nanevarayum, Canada Tamil Pere by Sarbil, Varvet Padil, Mikavu Makal Chiada Hintri. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Canadian Tamil Congress, I am pleased to welcome all of you to the 15th annual Thai Pongal and Tamil Heritage Month celebrations and wish you all a very happy new year. First and foremost, I would like to express our sincere appreciation to all frontline workers for their sacrifices and selfless service during this pandemic. Since inception, CTC has been at the forefront of community service and active citizenship in Canada. Tamil Canadians continue to make significant contribution to the political, cultural and economic fabric of Canada and continue to strengthen the integration with other communities in the country. CTC is proud to have contributed not only for enhancing this integration, but also sharing our arts and culture with a broader Canadian population. Despite many challenges caused by the COVID pandemic, CTC continues to advance its founding mandate for the betterment of Tamils and advancement and preservation of Tamil language and culture. Center for Leadership and Innovation, a brainchild of CTC, continues to advance youth leadership development in our community. We also successfully concluded the historical global fundraising campaign to establish a first ever Tamil chair in Canada at the University of Toronto in April of 2021. As an advocacy organization for the rights of Tamil, we continue to advocate for accountability and justice for Tamils in Sri Lanka with our ongoing advocacy work locally and internationally, including at the United Nations Human Rights Council. Since August 2019, CTC has been continuously advocating for the implementation of the Magnitsky Act from the Government of Canada to sanction those who committed war crimes in Sri Lanka. CTC is also taking strategically important steps to strengthen the understanding and integrations of Tamil speaking communities in Sri Lanka and in Canada. CTC hosted the Tamil Fest in an innovative manner with a two day drive in concert and provided opportunities for a number of local artists to showcase their talents while providing cultural entertainment for our people. CTC is very proud to have hosted 2021 Tamil Canadian Walk in support of Gord Downey and Chani Venjak Fund, a charity which aims to build cultural understanding and creates a path toward reconciliation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. CDC has also been working with Rice Global to establish and strengthen the global network of Tamil entrepreneurs, professionals, progressive intellectuals, and thought leaders to support the fast growing community to succeed on a global stage in every aspect of human life. I also want to touch on another important initiative that we are currently undertaking. We are in discussion with the provincial government of Prince Edward Island and other local community stakeholders to build a statue for GU Pope in his birthplace in recognition of his immense contributions to Tamil language, including the uh, translation of Thirukkural and through Vasam from Tamil to English. Our work would not be possible without the generous support of our members, supporters, sponsors, and community at large. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to our volunteers who continue to give countless hours of their valuable time 
in advancing CTC's agenda and completing our projects. We continue to be committed to do principled and effective work for the betterment of Tamils, not only in Canada, but around the world. Let me also take this opportunity to urge Tamil community to stay safe and be positive about the future during this pandemic while continuing to make meaningful contribution to the society. On behalf of CTC, I once again wish you and your family a very happy, prosperous and safe 2022. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Sivanilungo, and for all your hard work in leading the Canadian Tamil Congress for the past few years.